Well, breaking this down, we are talking about the use of a chemical weapon. Now, while the health of Mr Navalny, of course, has been uh, many people's focus, when it comes to the international implications of this, we are talking about a severe breach of the international regulations on the prohibition of these weapons. Germany seizing upon that to say this cannot go unanswered. Now, it was Germany who first discovered Novichok in samples from Mr Navalny. That was backed up by Sweden and France and now by the OPCW, that is the 193 member state organisation, the international body for the prohibition of these weapons. Well, they are saying, yes, it is part of this family of Novichok nerve agents. Now, that, of course, coming in complete contrast to what we've seen from Russia. Russia denying, first of all, that Mr Navalny was poisoned at all, then saying it could have been poisoned, but it couldn't have been Novichok, then saying it might have been Novichok, but that's probably come from Germany, to now saying, the official line as of Tuesday night, we need some time to read this report before we formally reply. That did not stop politicians in the state uh, parliament, the Duma, from having their say, though, the TASS news agency, the Russian news agency, reporting that they poured scorn on the OPCW, saying these were political findings. That backing up what we've seen from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, who have accused the UN, uh, the Germany at the UN, of having, look at this, uh, used it as a platform to express groundless claims about the alleged use of chemical weapons. Well, not groundless now, not according to the OPCW. Now, of course, despite this pushback from Russia, we've been seeing them laying the ground, questioning the OPCW's credibility over the last few days. Well, despite all that pushback, it is worth saying the experts have now said the chemistry is clear. I spoke to uh, the former head of the OPCW's laboratory, the man who is responsible for looking into the Skripal poisoning of 2018. First of all, I asked him how they identify Novichok nerve agents and what this all means. So with the nerve agents, um, we heard early on that the hospital in Berlin, the Charité, did some tests that indicated that his choline esterases were inhibited. That's a clear indication that there's a nerve agent, could also be a pesticide. And then the um, German Army Medical Research Institute in Munich then um, verified, actually, that there was a nerve agent. And they did this by analyzing his blood for certain specific biomarkers. These nerve agents react with certain proteins in your blood, and they then give very characteristic reaction products, and they stay in your blood for weeks. So what we do in the cube here at Euronews is we're all about fighting fake news, uh, mis, you know, going into misinformation and interpreting it. And out of Moscow, we've heard, first of all, Mr Navalny wasn't poisoned. Then it's no way it could have been a Novichok, quoting Leonard Rink, uh, an alleged creator of the, of the toxin. Uh, then it could have been Novichok, but it would have happened to, had to have happened in Germany. Uh, then it's all on the Germans to prove it. A lot of this seems to be familiar, perhaps, to yourself, because in 2018, a lot of these same things were pointed at you and your team. How do you respond to this? So I think the OPCW as an international body and the international watchdog to uphold the Chemical Weapons Convention in both cases was asked to independently verify chemical analytical results. And uh, I'm a chemist myself, so this is what we do. We look at samples, we come to a result, we write a report. We've seen quite a bit of controversy over the Skripal case, um, to say it lightly. Um, I think what we hear now is also not looking uh, at a quick and easy solution of the problem. Um, but I think science brings an important aspect to the whole thing because these are facts. We now have five laboratories who have shown Mr. Navalny was poisoned with a nerve agent of a certain family. I think it's very hard to go back to on that. So I think you're getting there. Whatever the politics, the scientists are saying it was a Novichok nerve agent. In other words, you can argue about the implications, but the chemistry is clear.